What took Bose so long to get noise cancelling on their earbuds line is beyond me, considering the fact that ANC is the feature that they take so much pride in. But after much anticipation, Bose finally released the quite comfort earbuds with active noise cancellation and a completely new design. They cost almost $400 here in Australia, which is significantly more than any of its competitors. So in this video, let's find out if they're worth that much money or not. First, let's start with the unboxing. The packaging is very similar to other Bose product in the market currently and out of it comes the safety instructions and a quick start guide, the Bose earbuds itself, one small USB-A to USB-C cable and two pairs of small and large ear tips. Now design wise I think that the quiet comfort earbuds look way better than the Soundsport free which sticks out of my ear way too much. They are not flat like the Sony 1000 XM3s so they sit more flush against the ears. The earbuds also only weigh 8.5 grams which does not make them the lightest one in the market. But it still feels very good in my ears and that is largely because of Bose's patented ear tip technology called Stay Here Max Tip Design. So the ear tips are essentially made from a soft silicone material that is more comfortable to wear than hard plastic. The wing is flexible and it fits snugly along the ridge of your ear but for that you need to find out which of the given ear tips fit your ears. Like for me I have size 3 ear tip for my left ear and size 2 ear tip for my right ear. I know it sounds weird but there is a reason manufacturers suggest that you try that if you want the maximum possible seal which helps minimize outside noise and enhance deep and low notes. The wings also distribute contact over a large surface area and avoids putting pressure on the most sensitive parts of your ear. This is why I found it to be extremely comfortable to wear or to take on a quick run around the block. And once they are in place, they hardly even move by a hair's margin. So I think that this design along with the IPX4 rating makes the quite comfort a standard earbud for most hardworking and outgoing people. The charging case on the other hand is big and bulky. It is definitely not something that you would want on your pockets all the time. It has a switch to open the lid which I am not sure is the best way to access the headphones cause the button is very firm and it always takes me a couple of tries to get it open. And once inside you get a dedicated bluetooth pairing button and a strong magnetic cradle for the earbuds to rest in. So this entire design choice makes sure that even if you drop the case from your hands accidentally then the earbuds won't go skittering across the floor. Another good thing about the case is that it supports wireless charging and even if you are completely out of power, then in 15 minutes of charging, it will give you 2 hours of listening time. The case can also hold 12 hours worth of juice, which is modest given the big size of the case. But having said that, I think that it is enough and on par with the competition cause with the earbud, which can give you 6 hours worth of juice, you get a total of 18 hours of battery life with active noise cancelling on, which is actually great. And speaking of noise cancellation. I don't think there is a better earbud in the market right now that dulls out external sounds or noises as well as the Bose Quiet Comfort. Unlike the AirPods Pro, this has 10 levels of noise cancelling to choose from the app and at level 10 of ANC, the outside noise just fades away. This really does an astonishing job of hushing low pitch sound like a constant humming of an aircon or a fan blowing at full speed. I have not tried this on a plane but I am sure that these will do an excellent job. Bose has really set the standard here for everyone else to follow cause the quiet comfort are that good. On the other hand, if you dial down the ANC on the app, you get full transparency mode which really does feel like not wearing a earbud at all. It sounds very natural and if you are at work or something, then this mode works really well as you can stay aware of your surroundings. And also if you take out either of the earbuds, music will automatically pause and as soon as you put them on, the music starts playing back again. But if you want to use only one earbud on its own for music or to take calls then you will have to use the right earbud because this specific earbud has an array of specially designed microphone that focuses on the sound of your voice while rejecting most of the external noise around you. So what the person on the other end of a call will hear is pretty amazing. So this is what the mic sounds like. I've got a little background noise coming from that house over there and there's some slight rain going on so yeah. Now this is what the sound sounds like when you're inside. I've got a fan running over here and I've got a little bit of background noise coming from the aircon right over there. So let me know what you think. Once you go to the mono mode, there is no problem to get back to the stereo mode again like other cheap headphones. All you have to do is put on both the headphones and you're good to go. I connected this with my iPhone, iPad and my MacBook Pro over Bluetooth and I have no complaints with connectivity. Nor did I experience any sort of lag while watching Netflix or YouTube videos. But one thing that the Bose Quiet Comfort misses out big time on is being able to pair with more than one device at the same time. 
After using the AirPods Pro between my iPhone and iPod to switch between calls and work seamlessly, I'm actually spoiled rotten. So this to me feels like a major disadvantage. There are also no buttons on the quite comfort earbuds, but it offers touch gestures on both the earbuds to do a range of things like play or pause music or answer or end a call or press to hold to activate voice assistant. You can also cycle through three levels of noise cancellation and adjust volume. Bose also allows you to choose your preferred action for a long press on the left earbud. You can either use it to announce battery status or skip a track forward. But there is no way to skip a track backward though. But I can forget about all of that because the sound quality is top notch. Bose claims on their website that they believe we won't find a better sounding wireless earbud and they might be just right because at the time of making this video I think only the Sennheiser Momentum 2 are its strongest contender. I was also surprised to see Bose making such a bass forward headphone like Sony always does. With this headphone, even at low volumes, the music feels very dynamic. The bass may not be as thumpy as it is in the upper volume range, but it does not just disappear, so that is very good. If you listen to a lot of EDMs or the new age music, I think you will really enjoy this. But even if you listen to music that has a lot of layers and instruments, then also you will appreciate these. Because to me it felt like it has a wider sound stage that always sounds crisp with very detailed highs and provides a very distinct separation between different layers in the track. Unfortunately, it does not let you control the equalizer settings within the app like you can with the NC700s, which does not really matter too much given the fact that the active equalizer works great most of the times, but since it is a premium headphone, I think Bose should have added that feature. But overall, I must say that this headphone sounds great. So my final verdict is this. Yes, I think that the Bose Quite Comfort earbuds are expensive and has some disadvantages like having a large carrying case, no multipoint connectivity, and no way to control the equalizer manually. But even with all of that, if you buy the Bose Quiet Comfort today, you would still be buying the best noise cancelling earbud that the market has to offer right now. The music sounds really good and you will also get a lot of features that makes it a very good buy for a lot of people. So yeah, that's my opinion on the Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds. I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this, so leave me your comments down below. Thanks again for watching. This is Nafi signing off till next week. Peace.